Ladies and gentlemen, how's it going? Once again, I'm Nev from Nev's Tech Bits, and today I want to teach you how you can run your own Bitcoin node with an old laptop, an old desktop, basically with a Windows PC. This is the how-to. We're going to download Bitcoin Core. Now, it should be said that in running a node is a thankless job. All that you do is you run the ledger, and the ledger is every transaction that has ever been made. You run a copy of it so it keeps everybody else honest so that nobody can hack the system. Once again, it's a thankless job. You're doing it out of the kindness of your own heart. It's going to cost you um, in electricity and data, but if you don't mind supporting the industry, supporting the code, supporting the new generation, then I definitely recommend that you go out, you get yourself an extra hard drive, and you get your old laptop, you get your old old uh, desktop. Look at this, this is just a super old desktop. I think this thing's about eight years old at the least. This is an old HP, no sorry, it's a Dell Optiflex 710. We got an i5 chip in here, and we got an external hard drive with one terabyte, and that's about what you need. Last time I was running a node, I maxed out at 256 gigabytes, but this is one terabyte, so we should be able to have it. So go on to Bitcoin Core or Bitcoin.org. There you will see the download Bitcoin Core. It's not even in, in version one, it's in 0 0.20. So you come on down here, you download it for Windows, and you start to install it. Now let's go through the steps step by step. All right, first up, let's hit next. Yeah, that's where we'll install it. C slash program files Bitcoin next, next. And then we just play the super happy fun waiting game. Hopefully, yeah, you guys can all see this fine. It is completed. Run Bitcoin Core 64 bit. And use a default, use a custom directory. You want to come on down here to use a custom directory to tell it where to put it. As this is the first time the program is launched, you can choose where Bitcoin Core will store its data. Bitcoin Core will download and store a copy of the Bitcoin blockchain. Apparently six gigabytes of data will be stored in this directory. Six, no, it's gonna be a lot more than that. The wallet will also be stored. Oh, this is a wallet. No, I don't need a wallet. I just need the ledger. Uh, okay, Bitcoin Core will begin to download and process the full Bitcoin blockchain. Yes, it is 320 gigabytes right now. Uh, discard blocks after verification, except for yada yada. So we're just going to change that. Hit the dot 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 and make sure that we use the slave drive or the uh, the other drive. The uh, Here, so we get the primary. And then we got the slave drive. Shoot, that's not uh, really racially accurate. I'm going to change that. That's going to upset some people, but I want to keep going. I promise I will change that uh, slave drive. We're not supposed to use that name anymore. The industry is changing and whatnot, and I'm I'm uh, I'm catching up. I'm catching up. I will change that. But anyways, we will select that folder. The name shouldn't matter. Eric cannot create the data here. What? Okay, so the hard drive screwed so I got to basically use another one now Might as well just go ahead and tell you the hard drive that I was using is external This is ultimately like a passport type of thing if you need an external drive Make sure you get either a Western digital if, if you're not familiar with your own stuff I would recommend a Western digital passport. I would not recommend ever using a Western digital slim drive. That's hybrid There's another one. That's the third of four that have died on me. So I got another unit right here. I'll slam this in. You can also go out and get these drives. These things you can probably get super cheap. One terabyte, once again, recommended you can get these external drive cases for um, anywhere from like 10 to 30 bucks. So let me make sure that I don't have my furry prawns on this. Okay, so I had to try another hard drive altogether. Now here we go. It's external USB 3.0 and okay. So here we start the setup. I'm going to allow access for this. 
Now it's going to start downloading. This is definitely going to take some time. Recent transactions may not yet be visible, and therefore your wallet's balance might be incorrect. But anyways, we're getting a wallet here, and we're also getting the entire Bitcoin node. It's going to start downloading. It's still syncing the headers of my hard drive. Dun, da, da, dun. Had to do some troubleshooting. I was having some problems with the port in the back, so uh, I switched to the front, and then it worked. So we tried it out on the back again, and it works just fine. We just have to wait a little bit for the download to start. Once again, this could be a while. This could be all night. Okay, so you can see as we're updating, we're taking it up. We're getting every transaction that's happens from Sunday, February 22nd. We're at 2011 right now. Man, this is some cool stuff. Okay, we're up to 2013 now. Just got a little bit to go, right? Oh my goodness, I'm only at 2.21%. This is going to take 12 hours. Okay, so it's now the morning after, and I'm still only at 20%, not even 20%. Apparently, it's going to take me about five days to catch up. And um, I'm still four years behind. I'm still on 2006. This is where things really start picking up. And that is when the investors start kicking in. Now, one of the only problems I find with Bitcoin is everyone's an investor and no one's actually using it. Now, if we don't actually make it so that we actually use Bitcoin for actual purposes, things aren't going to be going too well and it'll just be kind of this asset that sits there. But that's a problem for future us to worry about. But anyways, this is how you set up a Bitcoin node, ladies and gentlemen. So the next thing I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be taking this setup and be putting it in the back room where I have my IBM Bionic systems and where I have my backup system. And I'll leave them in there. Winter's coming. Things are getting cold. This is going to heat my uh, place up a little better in the basement, which is pretty nice. And uh, yeah, yeah, we will uh, get supporting the universe with this ledger and the IBM Bionic systems that I got. Okay, now to wrap this up, here we got it running on here. I'm still downloading it. It's going to take a while to get everything downloaded. Here's my backup system, and down here is where I'm putting the unit. These are my uh, Bionic, robotic, jeez, I forget the name, whatever, uh, IBM supercomputer helping out solve COVID-19. And over here, we have the node. I have the external hard drive over here, and I got a big heat sink on it to keep it nice and cool. Since it is uh, an HDD, the thing's probably going to die in about a year or two. But that's what you get. That's how she goes. And we're contributing to society and Bitcoin. Now let's hope Bitcoin pulls through for us and becomes the savior that we all hoped that it would as it came about in 2008. Or actually probably before that. Before the credit crisis, let's hope that the evils that were in the bank are not in Bitcoin. Only one way to find out. That's it for me, folks. Have a good one. And take care of each other.